our paper and sawdust briquettes that we made in the previous video have now dried out and that weighs 330 grams considerably lighter than when it was wet obviously so they're nicely dried out the fire we've made up in the same way we'd make up a fire to, to start logs off uh, so we've got some twisted paper, a newspaper, a bit of junk mail in there as well and um, we've got some kindling to start it off so we're going to go a like for like comparison with logs and then we'll throw in a few of these paper logs paper and sawdust logs and see how long they burn and how much heat fire was lit at 10.50 the kindling has burnt away now so we're just left with the paper logs we've added a third log in and the temperature is climbing nicely now this fire is eating hot water and it's eating radiators as well so we're up at 90, 193, 194. It's a very slow burn. Almost like charcoal on a barbecue would burn. And the temperature there. It's now 11.15. Um, temperatures coming up nicely on the fire the, um, the burning hardly any smoke outside from the chimney gentle burn uh, almost as if we're burning charcoal now before we are getting a mess with uh, sawdust trying to shovel sawdust into the fire and uh, it would generate a lot of smoke this appears to be smokeless or very close it's now 11.45 and we're going to put some more fuel in so we are eating up a tank full of hot water I'll add a bit more kindling, help things along a bit. I think for these cardboard and sawdust logs placed on a bed of coal uh, they would perform well uh, even with a, a small amount of kindling um, they do ignite they burn very very slowly not as good as uh, logs obviously my conclusion from burning these sawdust and paper blocks is that as a standalone fuel they're not efficient enough, don't throw out enough heat. Burnt with some kindling, 
they do the job but again kind of slow down the fire um, possibly burnt with some logs um, this slowing down effect would be advantageous especially banking up the fire at night time um, all in all we're managing to heat some water albeit very slowly um, is it worth the hassle? well our main reason for doing it was to avoid getting in a mess throwing sawdust into the fire it certainly solved that problem for us it also gets rid of the junk mail which is another problem solved and it's free